Hey guys, and welcome back to Medal of Honor. When we last left off, we were invading Fort Schmerzen. Schmerzer? Schmerzen? Schmerzel? Something like that. Oh, and I do want to change one thing. Because when I was playtesting this level, uh, I did notice that we're not using one of these secret codes. Oh, we do have American Movie Mode on. Huh. Okay. Curious. Well, okay. I thought we didn't have that one on this file, which uh, they're saying some pretty interesting stuff in this level. So, let's continue. Officer's Quarters. I spent two months undercover, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, as a domestic servant to the fort's commander, one Colonel Herman Muller. He's a pig of a man, a gluttonous creature, foul in both appearance and temperament. He runs Schmerzen as his personal kingdom. He's considered a rogue by the German High Command, oh. <clears throat> and he often goes weeks without reporting in. Our sources say that Berlin doesn't have a clue what he's doing. I learnt enough in my time there to know that he's capable of some very bad things. During my two months undercover, the bowels of the fort underwent a major reconstruction. Based on his connections, Müller was able to divert resources from the German war effort into some sort of secret project of his. I was never able to find out what it was. Now it's your job. Hmm. <clears throat> First, to divert any reinforcements from coming in, I find the radio room. Uh, find the radio room and send a phony distress call, pretending to be a different fort along the Siegfried line. Then track down Muller's staff orders in the operations room. Finally, search his personal quarters for keys to the lower level. I have a feeling that he will run as soon as he hears shots fired inside the fort. So he'll probably hide the keys under wherever he happens to be sitting at the time. Hmm, intriguing. All right, well, let's go. We have 65 enemies to kill on this level. This level's a weird one. It's quite the maze, uh, and it's also quite hard. The enemies um, don't fuck around here. Right, so let's get this cracking. What have we got here? We've got lots of, we've got lots of Thompson. Hey, fuckers. Oh, hello. Welcome to die. They start taking cover here as well. Which is quite interesting. Ah, shit. Oh, yeah. They like their grenades on this level. They really like their grenades on this level. But one good thing is they do like to kill themselves with grenades, too. Alright, you're done. You're done. Come on, buddy. Boom! Nice. Bit of FPS Doug action there. Anyone remember him? FPS Doug? I used to love that. Boom, headshot. Now these things you can shoot open these boxes. Some of them explode though. So, macho cautiono recommendo. Now let's keep going. Oh, hello guys. You alright? Now the shotgun can kind of glitch. Round corners, it's weird. Well, a lot of the guns can, to be honest. The hit detection on the corners is a bit ropey, to say the least. It is a PlayStation game, what do you want? Alright, well, we've got two ways to go. Ugh. Do Ah, we can go up. But, what's in this care package here? A whole load of hurt, if we were standing close to it, apparently. Alright, well, we can go this way. Oh, I hear a radio. And I hear a man. I hear a man that's about to die. Hey, pal. Come on, let's see that pretty little face of yours. Let's see what your Fraulein was so attracted to. Well, he's dead now. Reloaded. Alright, so let's go send our phony distress call. Let's go drink some medicinal booze. That should get the enemies off our back anyway. Is that supposed to be one of them uh, enigma machines? I don't know. Maybe. Can we destroy it? It's not really that smart, really. We need to be packing that bad boy off to the allies. Knock, knock. Halt! I'm going to halt you, my friend. Halt you with bullets from my gun. Can you die, please? Oh, God. Can we... Ah, oh, this is not going well. 
Time to upgrade. Let's get the explosions going. There is a lot of medikits on this level. But there's also a lot of enemies, so... so you need to be a little bit careful. Now, in one of these... Let's grab up all this. I think in there is a field surgeon kit. Now, sometimes if you shoot these open and you don't pick up the stuff inside, it disappears. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do that. Because I don't want this shit disappearing. For obvious reasons. We may need that. I'm not... Like, it's weird. It's inconsistent. Ah, we don't want to go this way yet, I don't think. It's weird and inconsistent. Um, you know? But I don't want to risk losing stuff. Right, that's the way we came. This level is a maze, guys. I'm not a fan, to be honest. We start... We came from back here. Uh, we can go in here. Ah, this is one. This leads up to a gun turret. Yeah, we need to come in here. Hey, I've got your name now. Fritz. Or are you schnitzel? Well, I guess it doesn't matter now because you're dead. Right. I'm glad I came back here. Leaving one enemy behind is not good. Because, like, it's weird. The game says, um, or at least the manual says, that you have to kill 95% of the enemies. But, oh, fuck. Pasted him. But I don't know. I, I don't know how exactly they calculate that. Because in my experience, even leaving one enemy, I mean, I, I guess because it's done on a percentage and there's never really a uh, hundred enemies. So you can't do a perfect um, percentage ratio. Oh, fuck. I guess it is a bit weird. But, in my experience, you basically have to kill all the enemies. You, you, kind of, you can't leave one alive. Grab that canteen. You can see what I mean? There's lots of canteens around. There's lots of little bits of health. Tear them apart! How about I fucking fill you full of holes, mate? Yeah, more holes than uh, Swiss cheese. Right, hello. Or more holes than fucking Destiny's plotline. Right there, foul. Good night. To the underworld with you. Oh, there's a medkit there. Don't want to leave that. Now, from what I can see, like, as long as it's already there, it's not inside a box, it doesn't disappear. Maybe. Don't quote me on that, because it's, it's a little bit strange, to say the least. Oh. Hey, hands. Hey Fritz, we need to find some um, more German names, I think. Hey Müller, you're dead. That's some ammo, that's fine. Ammo we can always grab, it's not an issue. Rifle is of limited use on this level, to be fair. Anything through here? Ah, the toilet, excellent. There's always canteens by the toilet. What is up with that? Seriously. Oh, hey, friend. Alright, you're fine. You're not even noticing me. Notice me, senpai! Or not. Up to you. I mean, I don't care either way. You're just fodder for my bullets. Nice. Medical canteen there. It'll be interesting to see if that actually sticks around. Who's shooting me? Own up! Hey, you little son of a bitch. Come back here and play. Ah, uh, unlucky. Oh, I remember you. I don't know why you spawn around the corner. Yeah, you got to be careful. Enemies do spawn behind you. Which is problematic because, like, they can be easy to miss. necessarily the damage that they do to you, which can be significant. There's a medical canteen there, which is rather nice. We're not going to worry about that yet. Hello, friend! Swallow that. Oh, God. Hello. There we go. He was hungry for battle. 
And now he's full. Oh, evening. Didn't see you there, buddy. Right, now on the table there was the documents, but we've uh, just grabbed those. SMG rounds. You can see, like, the Thompson just tears for ammo. It's crazy. Oh. Hey, buddy. And he's tearing through. Look, dude, can you not fire all that ammo all over the place? Because I want it. Thank you. I want it. Alright, let's check your corners. Check. Oh, that's the way we came. Aha! I'm learning! Guys, I'm learning! I have a brain! I think, anyway. There's definitely something up there. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Uh, that is... Right, this corridor we've swept, haven't we? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, yeah. That's all that's down there. This level's not exactly that mazy. I, I thought it was mazy than it actually is, but... Oh, we're back in here. It's not actually as bad as I thought. Hello, buddy! I am not the sausage salesman. I am the dealer of death. I've come for you. I'm collecting souls. Oh, hello. German souls only, I'm afraid. Ooh, another field surgeon kit. We will leave that puppy there where she is. Um, this area down here is f fucking flavor country. Uh, I did almost die when I was testing this out. I don't know why I say testing. I'm not testing it. I'm practicing it. There is a difference. Is there a difference? Yes. Yeah, I think there is. Uh, hey, friend. Come on. Ouch. There we go. What are we up to? What's the kill count? We're on 33. Fuck. Still got many Germans left to find yet. Which is fine. Because our Thompson, she hungers for blood. And she is very, very thirsty. But that's fine. There's plenty of nourishment. Oh, hello. Trying to shoot me, are you? Well, there we go. Ooh, that exploded straight away, which means it actually... And so did that, which means they actually landed on a German. Or on an object that they could blow up, I think. Might need to practice that. But yeah, we definitely just killed someone. His guns there. Uh, killed two people. Eh, 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 eh. Alright, med pack there. You know what would take it. Ooh. Come on, friendo. Tear him apart. You could try. I don't think you're going to have too much success. There we go. If they're going to kick a grenade away, double tap. Because. They will run up to the grenade, try and kick it away, and in theory, the second grenade will explode. It doesn't always work, because grenade fuses in this are very temperamental. Sometimes the fuses just seem to last forever. Right, we need to go that way in a minute. Ooh. Okay, I guess that's the only way we can go. Yeah, sometimes like grenades explode instantly on contact when they hit a German. Sometime... Ah, let, we can try it out now. Now, if I chuck this nade, yeah, so even if the nade hits an, an object, it will explode on contact. So not necessarily just an enemy. Good to know, actually. Right, wakey, wakey, motherfuckers. Where are you hiding? There's no point in hiding, as our friend Wesker would say. Ah, oh, I wouldn't roll next to a highly flammable barrel, sir. I, mean, I would if I was you, but, you know. Alright, you're done. Did you just drop a nade? Yeah, he did. They like to drop nades. But they do also like to kill themselves. You'll find that quite a lot. Ah, there's a med kit there. That's great. We don't need it yet, though. Bosses in this. Ooh, shotgun shells. Haha, -ha, how quaint. Alright. Anyone in here? 
Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Oh, hello. I do like the grenades in this game. I just wish they were slightly more useful, you know? Oh, stuffs. Another med kit. You know what? We well, Actually, I'm going to leave that med kit there. I just want to see if it disappears. No point sorting your gun out now, lad. You should have had that ready. Noob. Oh, hello. Whoa. Something weird going on with the hit detection there. Just had, like, loads of slowdown, which is weird, because... Don't get a lot of slowdown on this game. This game's very smooth, actually. <laughs> well, smooth. Smooth for a PlayStation game. Uh, and I think that adds immensely to its re like its its playability now. Rifle rounds. Grab the gas mask there. We're probably going to need that. We'll leave that med kit there as well. Um, yeah, it's very smooth. Um, very responsive to the controls as well. Which is one thing that I really do like about it. Ooh. Hello. Let's go see our friendo. You right there, buddy? Have some death on the house. Now, he does have a key here in the toilet. So I guess that's where he was sitting. He was sitting on the shitter. Now, this is where things are going to get a little bit spicy. Alright. Yep, here we go. Oh, fuck nuggets. Dude, seriously? Dude, no. 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 How many are we up to? 51. Alright, let's take cover here. Ooh, you spicy little monkey. There we go. See what I mean by like the shotgun can actually go around corners? Very good for that. And again. Alright. Now this area is a bit of an ass. Welcome to the bed quarters, I suppose. Alright, grab that. Anything good in here? Why would you have explosive containers next to the beds? Or is it one of those situations where it's just best not to ask, you know? Probably best not to ask. Good night. You right there, Hans? Have some shotgun to the face. We have plenty of shotgun right now. Nice, SMG rounds, just what the doctor ordered. Okay, what are we up to? 56. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. Definitely missed an area somewhere. Or, whoa! Ow! You can see just how dangerous these guys with uh, SMGs actually are. Holy smokes. Is there more? There is. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Yes, he kicked the grenade and killed himself. <laughs> Nub. Come on. How many bullets do you want, bucko? Jesus. Greedy son of a bitch. Honestly. Right. Is that... Yeah, see? See, that medkit disappeared. We did not pick it up. Alright, let's take these guys down. You see they're getting nervous now. What, we're up to 62. Okay, there's two more behind the door. Uh, let's... Get some medkits. Luckily, we did leave a lot of them behind, which is good. There was another medkit here somewhere, wasn't there? I'm sure there was. Am I being stupid? I may be. I usually am. But I'm sure there's a medkit in here. Excellent. Nice. Yeah, because we need 75% health before we end the level. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. But we have missed one enemy. Which is problematic. That little fucking shit stain could be anywhere as well. Hmm. Alright, well, let's crack this door. 
Halt! There's those two there. That's the end of the level. But we can't end the level because there's one enemy left. Hmm. That's a kick in the knickers. Oh. Oh. We run past him? How? Yeah, okay, we apparently ran past him. Don't know how we ran past him. Apparently there's more. Oh no, there's, yeah, 66 enemies. Sorry, guys. Aha, my brain. She works. She works in mysterious ways. Alright, cool. I, yeah, because on the previous level, there was 67? Oh man, I'm getting nervous now. I don't want to, I don't want to end the level. Without killing everybody. Shit, 67. See what I mean, though, about enemies respawning behind you. And, uh... Doing things. Definitely pays to have one, like, last sweep around. 67 enemies. Let me just check something, guys. Hmm. Okay, according to my notes on my computer, there is actually 67. But I'm sure when I played this, I killed 66. So, okay. Maybe 66 is enough for a pass mark on this level. I guess we may never know for sure. But let's get the fuck out of here anyway. Because we're done here. Boom, baby. Right, mission complete. I suppose this is going to be the moment of truth. Triumph. Keep it up, soldier. Oh. And... Yeah, we got it. We got it. 67 fucking Nazis wasted. Excellent. Right, so let's pop a save down. And we will continue uh, the next mission in a separate video, guys. Uh, yeah, we're going to dump it down there. So, thank you very much for watching, as always. Until next time. Hey guys, and welcome back to Medal of Honor. When we last left off, we were infiltrating Fort Schmerzen. Now, <clears throat> we've managed to obtain the key to the lower levels. So, let's have a little poke about. Mustard gas production. What? Unbelievable. Our worst fears have been realized. Muller has converted Schmerzen into a clandestine poison gas plant. You have... You must have been shocked when you read his staff orders and realised what was going on. Well, we didn't actually read the orders, we just pocketed it and walked off, but I digress. As seemingly new, more lethal, a seemingly new, more lethal form of mustard gas is being cooked up as a last-ditch effort to stop the Allied army from crossing the German border. The colonel was always notorious for advocating a return to the mustard gas terror from the last world war, a position that made even his closest confidants think he was a little crazy. Hmm. <clears throat> I knew from personal experience that he was evil, sick man. I just never realised how far he would go. That's what the Stuka bomber was there for. He planned to drop the gas right on top of our troops. Shit. Your objective is to... Use their own horrible weapon against them. Make your way down to the lower production level and open up both of the main storage valves. This will spill ethylene and sulfur chloride into the fort's ventilation system. Once the two compounds mix together, Fort Schmerzen will become a tomb. Hmm, alrighty. The fight continues. Well, alrighty then. I guess we're going to go poison this place. Makes sense. Geez, good thing we uh, we discovered this. Mustard gas was absolutely lethal. Horrible, 
horrible weapon. Right, well, let's go. <clears throat> to Oh, hello. Boom, baby. Come on. Let's get this done now. You and me. You and my bent shotgun. She's bent, but she still works, damn it. He's done. Oh, God. Who's flanking me? Who said that? Show yourself. Oh, hey, friend. Medkit, remember that. We're going to be treated with charity and kindness. Uh, I don't believe you, Muller. Somehow. I don't think you're a very trustworthy gentleman. Look at all these guys. Holy shit. Um. Okay, that guy just like disappeared and reappeared. Uh, like I said, this is not emulation. This is a real PlayStation, so, hmm. Alright. Well, never mind. Right, let's go grab that med kit. We took a bit of a batter in there. There's a decent amount of health on this level. Um, but the, like, there are a lot of concentrations of enemies. I don't know if we can open these up. Nah. Unlucky. Right, let's press on. You've had enough of me? Well, unfortunately for you... Oh, God. I think someone threw a grenade. Yep, someone did throw a grenade. Yeah, they use uh, large quantities of nades in this level. And as in previous levels, they enjoy blowing themselves up, which is good. This saves me some ammo. Hey friend! Hey friend! Have some bullets. I have more bullets for your face. Got some more shotgun shells now. Oh, hello. Ooh. These guys in the chemical suits. They always used to freak me the fuck out when I was a kid. I was like, gas masks are really freaky looking things. If you think about it. There was a Doctor Who episode. Oh fuck. There was a Doctor Who episode. With a load of um, people that turned into gas mask heads. I can't remember the episode, and it was proper creepy. And it was set in World War Two as well. Very creepy stuff. Let's grab up all this goods. Yink, yink, yink. Hey, Germans. Would you like to come out and play with a nice American man? Oh, God, look at them all. See what I mean about the concentrations? Damn. You need to watch these guys. There is plenty of them. Luckily, he had a medical canteen. We've already killed 17 enemies. Like, it feels like we've barely started this level. We're up to 17 kills. That's fine. Nice try, Fritz. You need to work on that aim, my friend. I see you hiding there. We don't have to be too careful with our ammo, because this is the last mission for this level. Last level for this mission. Whoa! So, uh, our ammo will not carry over. You gotta watch these devils. Ooh, evening. Oh, hello. Evening! I see this is a uh, must have stumbled across a mother's meeting here. <coughs> oh, dear. Well, that's fine. Let's keep pushing. Ooh! I weren't even trying to kill you. That's fine. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, hey, friend. Come back. Come back so I can kill you again. Nice. More? Oh, you're all down there, aren't you? <laughs> hey, friends. Hot potato. Just for you. Well, that sounded like a double kill. Plenty of health. Ooh. They're still chucking nades down there. Okay, not bad. I think we've just about sterilized the area. Yeah, we don't want to be attached to that. Oh, hello. 
don't want to be attached to the ladder because it will fuck you over. Because if you're just touching in a ladder, uh, you can't aim. Which is a little bit awkward, as I'm sure you can imagine. You've had enough of me! And here I was thinking we could be friends, Fritz. What about you, Hans? Do you want to be friends? Oh, God. There you go. Can you die? Seriously? I'll be your friend. Oh, God. Yeah, the shotgun is... Fairly okay at range in this game as well. It's not your typical um, video game shotgun that's useless at anything that isn't right in front of it. I always hate that in games. We're up to 36 confirms. Nice. Let's keep pushing. I haven't found any gas yet. Although, ugh, sounds like Muller's talking a lot of the stuff. Apparently he's going to look after us if we surrender. Hmm. Oof. I don't think he's uh, being overly truthful, to be honest. Probably force feed us poison gas. Alright. Let's get this bad boy going. There's the ethylene released. Oh, take deep breaths, Nazis. Damn you. There we are. Spread pattern on the shotgun is very unpredictable. But I kind of like... Oh, fuck. kind of like it, to be honest. It's more of a realistic shotgun than you get in most games. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Okay. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Right, let's get some more gas pumped into this place. That's that. I think we just got to escape now. Yeah. Exit the fort. Ooh, fuck. No running, kids. My fort. Although you can have it back now, it's filled with gas. Ooh, hello. I remember being a kid. I got stuck here for ages. I didn't realize you could just jump over these things. But there's quite an interesting little, like, it's not really a glitch, but an interesting little thing that happens. Sometimes, if we... That's the way we want to go. If we kind of go all the way back here. <clears throat> this should be far enough. Ah, there's canteen there. We'll have you. Nah, it's not going to happen. Let's try it again. Yeah, a load of the level actually disappears, but I think because this is quite a long level, it just gets, like, overwritten in the memory. There's a field surgeon kit there. We don't need it. Let's try going back now. See if that was enough. However, I don't think it's going to happen for some reason. American Commando. There we go. That entire, like, level is missing. See it get drawn into the memory there? Yes, yes, yes. Charity and kindness, I'm sure. However, we have just gassed this entire place. Ooh, hello. That's not the best I can do. That's the best I can do. And it was too much for you, my friend. Boom! All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, hey, friendos. Sorry, but this is my exit. You can exit, but you must pay. Pay with your lives. That's all the enemies, 52. Right, let's get out of here. Only 11 minutes. Hmm. Maybe I will put these two videos together. Along with tanks and artillery, a key ingredient of the 1939 Blitzkrieg was the Stuka dive bomber. 
Its powerful cannons could rip through any piece of armor, and the Stuka's telltale whistle as it dove towards its target became as powerful a psychological weapon as any of its explosive bombs. Goering and Hitler's success with the Stuka, however, would be short-lived. The Allied air forces would soon gain superiority of the skies. Right, well, that's that. Secret code discovered. Nice, and we got a medal. Sweet. Right, uh, I um, yeah, I'll probably add this onto the the last video. Just because I don't really want to upload an 11 minute video, that's yeah, a little bit pointless. Although an 11 minute video would be nice and quick to render on my aging PC, but I digress. I don't want to shortchange you guys. Um, let's return to the war room. Now, let's go have a little look at our code. So we got a oh, wireframe mode. Yeah, I remember that. That's exactly as it sounds. It just like deloads all of the uh, textures and that shit. Just gives you a load of wireframes, which is interesting because you can see how the levels are structured and built. But eh, yeah, it's not not really something I ever really use to be honest. Don't think the enemies are in wireframe though. I can't remember. So I guess yeah. No, I don't think they are because I think you can like look through walls and stuff. Hmm. And there we go. We have another medal. How? What's what? What, 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 what are we up to? Five hundred and twenty-one Nazis have been slain to our hands. Forty-five percent accuracy as well. Not bad. Not bad. I wonder if when you fire the shotgun, if it counts as one shot or if it counts all the individual pellets. I know some old games did that. I don't know. Right. Let's have a look at our medal. Starting to get a nice little set here, aren't we? We've got Distinguished Service Medal. Army Commandant... Uh, Commendation Medal. Um, American Campaign Medal. And now we have the Legion of Merit. Nice. Still, we've still got another four to get, and I'm pretty sure we get the Medal of Honor in the middle there. But I think we get that for unlocking all the other medals. Can't remember. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. This is actually gonna be a you know proper ending. So thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.